Welcome to Bali, Indonesia. This is our resort. Take a look around. Since we were interested in exploring our district, Seminyak, we decided to take a trip to Seminyak Beach to relax and, knowing me, have some fun by burying myself. We also had some fun braving the waves. Since we were in Bali and everything was so cheap, we decided to try our hand at whitewater rafting. Uh, I was uh, extremely nervous at the start. It was my first time going, but once we, once we got going, I found it uh, extremely enjoyable, uh, even though it was my first time. Um, here's some other annoying, useless clips of us going whitewater rafting with high pixelation for no reason. Enjoy. Oh goodness, glad that 30 second clip is over. Wait, what? We've still got six seconds to go? Ugh. About an hour's drive from Seminyak, we went to um, BMR Water Sports, where for an insanely high price, we got to Parasail, as you're seeing here, uh, we also got to uh, snorkel in the next clip, and not shown in this video, we did the donut boat, which is not as fun as it sounds. Now watch the rest of the parasailing in peace. Now, watch us snorkel with lots of unnecessary clips. It's almost as bad as whitewater rafting. The number of clips, I mean. Now, I welcome you to my personal favorite of these excursions, Trans Studio Bali, an amazing mall that holds not only a mall, but an amusement park as well. This is an unnecessary clip of us entering the amusement park. The amusement park is mainly smoke and mirrors, and projections, but it's amazing. Here we are on the Titanic, exploring what life would have been like on that ancient boat in the 20th century. This show at Trans Studio Bali was breathtaking. After all the excitement, I went to another show, but this one was a stunt show, and it was pretty amazing. There was fire and special effects everywhere. Try and see if you can figure out what it was about from these clips. Rewatch the video if you need to. Ah, oh, there it is. I never thought I'd see the outside again, but here it is. Yes, okay, so that last clip was not on the day we went to Trans Studio Bali. But, hey, we went to ride elephants. Um, there were a lot of sadly caged animals, but they were pretty cool animals. Check them out. There was even one orangutan weirdly sitting in his enclosure. After that, we visited some rice paddies. Um, and then, sadly, the monkey forest, which was slightly problematic for me, at least.
the fire dance was actually extremely impressive. Um, I'm surprised they could keep each individual fire burning for so long. Um, sadly, they didn't. On one of the acts, um, you'll see soon the giant wheel with fire on it. That's that's coming up. Um, several of the the fire sticks did blow out, but it didn't look like it. Uh, so this fire dance was actually really impressive. Oh yeah, that that wheel right there. Some of it blew out. Yeah. So I'm I'm really impressed by the job they did. After a short flight, we actually went to Singapore. First thing we did, we went to Tai Hua Eating House, a Michelin-starred food stand. My moral of the story is never eat Michelin-starred food. Did you notice how that looked like cat food on the noodles? Yeah, too much for me. Never go there unless you're like Singaporean and love that kind of stuff. For our last day of the trip, we decided to visit Gardens by the Bay, a, a stunning, I don't even know how to describe it, a stunning collection of arboretums, structures, plants, and more that will just knock your socks off. We tried almost everything and enjoyed almost everything. Our favorite was probably Avatar the Experience. It was like walking through a James Cameron film. It, there was lush greenery everywhere. Um, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Molds of characters. It, it, it was amazing. There was, there was so much to see and do. I, I recommend it for your trip. Okay, you can go now. Huh? The video's done. Turn off your device. Oh my god, the video is done. It's finished. You, you want to just keep watching a blank screen, huh? Well, I hope you enjoy this.